Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. This week, car's running. Uh, it, it runs and starts now. It starts nice and easy and runs. So super excited about that. Um, but we've still got brakes to do. Uh, so I've got, uh, you can see kind of way back there, got the, right there, got the calipers uh, painted up. I got new stainless steel brake lines for both the front and the rear. So I'll get those installed. Uh, I got new wheel cylinders uh, for the back, so I'll get that uh, replaced. Got new pads and shoes all the way around. So get all the brakes squared away. I haven't even attempted to put it in gear yet because one other thing that I've got to do is uh, the rear end uh, hasn't been touched in you know 17 years. The fluid hasn't been touched. So uh, I want to go ahead and uh, pop the, the cover off, drain the fluid, replace the, the axle seals, uh, and then put all that back together as well before a test drive. So we got a lot of work. Uh, oh, and the uh, front seats have to go back in it. Not a big deal, but, uh, and then the front end has to go on. So pretty big checklist. The front end I'm still fighting with because the headlights that came out of it uh, seem to uh, fit fine. Um, but then as I'm putting these in, I, they, they just, they're, they're so poorly aligned. Like this is all bolted in and you see like the, Headlight is at an angle here. This is at an angle here, and it just falls right into the uh, to the spot on the Cervini's that it's supposed to, right? I mean, there's not really an adjustment there. You see these pins line it up, and they fit right into those holes, and so there's no adjustment to that. All I can do is bolt it down, but yet when I do, it um, it it puts them at just all horrible looking angles. Uh, I'm probably going to trim those out so that I get a little bit of adjustability out of it. I, I just can't decide. Uh, what I should do there, but i um, going to have to work on that before it goes back in as well. Alright, so got a lot done so far. Uh, rear end axle, or axle seals in, rear end fluid swapped out, rear brakes completely redone, front brakes uh, rebuilt and installed, uh, seats are in, so we are super close. The problem we have now is I've got a loud whistling uh, vacuum leak of some kind over here in this corner. You'd think it was the obvious spots, but I don't think it is, I, you know, where these plug in. But uh, I think it's underneath here, so hopefully it's not the lower intake gasket or an injector with like a popped o-ring. Uh, I'm going to have to take that apart and see. But otherwise, it's firing right up. It runs great. Um, got to get the wheels uh, back on it. And then uh, we'll probably test drive in the morning because it is starting to get a little dark. Um, and you can see we don't have any lights. So uh, probably drive it in the morning. All right. Car is back on the ground. Uh, everything is finished up. We did all four corners on the brakes. Um, Fluids, new fluids and everything, new seals and the axle. Right now the only problem we've got is the uh, the exhaust tips are rubbing the tires. So we're back there trying to get that resolved. And then once that's done, start it up, double check the timing, make sure it's set, and then we're going to go for a test drive. <laughs> 